Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. Today, I'd like to do two interiors. I'd like to do the interior to the uh, bakery that we didn't do, and the interior to the church. I think we can get both of them done in a single episode. It might be a little bit of a push, but this one shouldn't be too hard at all if we pop on the inside here. We know that this area has to be the sort of kitchenette area. And then this area can be a more private area. We can sort of split this up with a wall, put a nice ceiling in. Um, ceiling could go in here, couldn't it? Let's get the ceiling in, get that out of the way first. How are we all doing anyway? Are we all doing good? Everyone well? Let me know in the comment section. How's your life going? Uh, it's been a while since I've asked that. I always like to hear from you. You always seem to have something cool going on. If it's something about school or starting a new job recently. Uh, and I never seem to ask enough. You guys always hear about me and you hear about my day and stuff, but uh, I never hear about yours. Furnaces. I'm going to get some furnaces in here so we can make all the beautiful cookies. I think it's nice and simple. It's a nice touch. Do you know what I mean? It just finishes off that area. Hey, cakes, anybody? Who wants a cookie? Who wants a pumpkin pie freshly baked today? <laughs> uh, for the floor. Let's go with oak as well. Set planks. We have to have some lighting in here soon as well. I also want to get rid of those, uh, like the visible wooden poles. There's no point having them. Um, it just tidies up the walls nicely doing it this way. This could stay being spruce though. I think it puts a nice different backing on here. It's just a, a bit of a contrast between the floor. It's not too dark like dark oak, the roofs. It's just a nice medium sort of colour. Let's also get a door in here. That would be nice. So it's actually like, like the shop front. And then on the inside, it, it just feels a little bit more like a, a separate part of the building. If we could also put a dividing wall to the bedroom. door in here uh, we have a second floor we might have to ladder this one because we don't have too much room on the inside unless no we could put one in here we could put one in there stairs I like uh, at the moment uh, doing these buildings I'm liking the sort of uh, walk around ones like the horseshoe so we go like that, and then we come back around this way, and we come back up like that. I'm just really liking those sort of double-tiered ones at the moment. And let's go with a log to go up the middle. Might as well go up to there. While we're up here as well, let's put this in. We ain't got any, um, uh, what do you call them? windows in the ceiling here so we don't need to worry about uh like light coming down and all that kind of stuff do i want to have these no i think we'll just nope i think we'll just double them up that can stay though that's i like that as a feature as like a whoop, as a wall that sort of goes back there that one that one and that one right we're good up here we're fine up here yep Let's go back downstairs. Let's get some torches going. So we can actually see while we're down here. Let's put one uh, above the door. That's on a stair. You couldn't do that in 1.7. I think you can do it now. But you couldn't do it then. I wonder what mod's done that then. I wonder what mod has changed. It must be a mod that I've got that's actually sort of made that um, available. Interesting. Let's grab another door. We'll put the door at the bottom of the stairs. I think that's just cool. We'll put that one there like that. Now, this is going to be a little private area. So all we need in here is cobblestone wall. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go with a fence. I was going to go with cobblestone to uh, get away from the wood of the floor here but then cobblestone just blends into the wall anyway so what's the point we'll use a carpet as a tabletop 
and then we'll get a couple of nice spruce chairs blends in with the wall that we've got near there and sign there's a nice dining table i don't think we need too much down here you know she's got a, a she can use that as a kitchen if she need be uh i wonder if i could do anywhere like like having a shutter that would come down could we use that as a shutter and sort of shut it down that's what we'll say uh so we can use that as a kitchen in there um i always i did like crafting tables in some of these spots oh that's a perfect spot for a torch right there uh i don't know what else can we have down here someone said in the comments section a few episodes back like on the one of the early ones uh don't do too many paintings aj because paintings in like medieval times were sort of reserved for the wealthy people and i agree but we have to remember this is minecraft and we're limited on what we can do where spruce and um in minecraft because there isn't too much that we can do as far as interiors are concerned the paintings just really help with that i'll make that go into there they really help with that and they just sort of help diverse out the interiors stairs so yeah although i agree that these houses certainly would not have paintings on the wall we don't have anything else that we can put there <laughs> and that's what we need to remember Boop. i think a nice dark jungle sapling helps in here uh put a little carpet down on the floor let's go with a brown and a red i mean this person has a shop they're a little bit more wealthy oh i can't because of a sign there i'll take the signs off They've got not quite the normal brown or grey carpet. You know, she's got a little bit of money. She's just got some, some nice red in there. Purple was the uh, expensive colour in these times, wasn't it? Purple was incredibly difficult to get hold of. And everybody wanted purple, which is why purple became a royal colour. Because they were the only people that could afford the dyes. I watched a video on it. Or documentary on it. Ages ago, it sounds really sad, doesn't it? Anyway, let's go upstairs. And let's get that there. sort of can't fall down the stairs spot i like that should we make that into one of them i think so i think i like that okay then a nice bedroom up here nothing too crazy grab it and we'll have a bed there i want chests here but i want them like that and then i want them like that I can't get into those ones. It doesn't matter though. I think it just makes it cool. We could put um slabs there. And then for those of you who like to be able to open them, we can now open those top chests because it's a slab instead. Okay, everybody happy? Good. Uh let's go with cobblestone wool. And the reason why I'm going with the cobblestone wool here is so it doesn't join up with the fence. Because we can just put a nice table in the corner there nothing else to put there so it's just a nice sort of corner table uh we want bookshelf yeah just oops i think i like that i think i like that that's what i like still get to the windows i'll have a little flower pot with a flower in it this time yeah normal white flower Boop. on this side we'll have another table like so and then a nice little carpet in the middle here just to finish her off and i think we're good for the bakery then we'll still go with the brown and red like that uh torches and i'll go with one painting just above the bed there it's just like the perfect spot for it There we go. That's probably enough light up here, actually. Okay, I'm happy with that. Nice little interior for the bakery. It keeps our interior count up. Shut the door on the way out. The church. Oh, I don't like that. I'm going to put a torch down in them to get rid of that. 
Just too dark in there. The church interior. This shouldn't be too difficult to do. Uh, there's actually a lot of work involved in it now that I've come in here, though. Um, there are the pews, obviously, but we need to do the ceiling. Okay, this might actually be a little bit longer. We'll do a bit of it today, and we can come back, and we can finish it off at a later date if we don't get it done, which I don't think we will. So, let's go with some of these first. That goes all the way, good. This one. This one. And this one. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do in here. I didn't think it would be take that long, which is why I sort of thought we could do both of these interiors in one episode. But I can already see this is going to be... This, this would require a whole episode by itself to do properly. In fact, I'll tell you what would be better. That. That would be amazing. Yes. Come back here. Oh, I've got another one. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's already cool. Um, trouble is, I don't want to sort of see all of this cobblestone and these other blocks and stuff. So what we'll do now is we'll get these slabs... We'll just place them on the top halves. Let's go there as well. Of those. Uh, uh. You see how that just just sort of hides it up a little bit. Um, I don't like how this one pokes out. I think we want to go like that and like that, right? It looks a lot. And take that one out and put that one up here. And then the log sticks out by half a slab in the middle there. Yeah, a lot better. Okay, uh, I need to do that on all of them. I'll tell you what, I'll do that and I'll get some main walls up and I'll be back. I I just did the roof. I didn't want to do too much away from you. I think it looks cool though. I think it hides up all of the sort of inside out cobblestone and, and stuff from the outside. Just neatens it up. Looks really cool. I just put a roof on here as well. We will need to sort of have, we might even do the same way with a ladder like it has in the default Minecraft churches to come up to like this floor and up the tower. Um, for what reason? I do not know, but we might put one in anyway just because. Now we need something like this. Stairs. We'll do the old classic one, two. I want to put that in like that, actually. Like that. Uh, in these corners here, I, I just don't like how flat it is in this area. Um, let's worry about this when we do when we go up. Let's let's worry about in here for today. Let's get ourselves a wand. Let's get the floor down first. Um, but what do we want to go with? Do we want to go with wood? I don't think I want to go with wood. I think I want to go with stone brick. Uh, set 98. We might put some other block in as well. But I think a stone floor just makes sense, right? I think it just makes sense. Let's get the next most important part in, which are the pews. I think we'll go with dark oak because they're always they're always really dark wood. And do I want to have that one back against the wall? Probably. Hold on. That was a long silence. I apologise. I'm thinking about dressing up this interior more getting more of these wooden features 
I think it just makes so much more sense. It looks more structured, doesn't it? It looks like it's, it's actually sort of, if it was in the real world, it would stand. <laughs> and I like to have those, as silly as it sounds, I like to have it, have that sort of feeling. Slab. Oh, that looks cool. I like having all of these sort of different parts and they go in and out and everything. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so pews. We can start at the back though. I could probably come out so it comes out by a bulge. Now, you never want to go too far. I think that's probably as far as we want to go. You get too close and the you can't actually see the vicar or whoever it is at the front. Yep. Stick some signs on the corners here. I remember it's a not a very good story, but I remember when I was back in uh, in primary school, and I was about I don't know six or seven, uh, and there was a church quite near us. Um, and we, we, we would walk to it on like special events. I, I can't remember what was the one um, where like all the people in the area. I'm not very religious guys. I'm sorry. But uh, you like bring like a basket of food to the church. I can't remember what it is. Uh, but basically uh, I remember going there for one and, and they were singing hymns and stuff. And our school was there. So I went with the school. And someone who I know, I can't remember their name now, I probably wouldn't say anyway, uh, but they actually um, graffitied on the pew and, and, and carved into it. And as you can imagine, you got in big trouble for that. They had to come and do like, um, almost like, I think it was like community service or something is, is, is basically what they, they made them do uh, to sort of pay for the fixing of it. Because these the, 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 these pews don't come cheap, do they? I mean, they're expensive wood and they're they're old and and everything like that. So uh, the church was really annoyed. I don't know actually what happened in the end with it though. Like I, I I'm too young to sort of remember. Maybe it was all sorted out or something, but I can't remember. But they were they were not pleased with that. So yeah, moral of the story, guys: don't graffiti on church items. Don't don't carve your name. <laughs> into something that isn't yours because they'll know who done it because you've written your name on it okay uh this part i'd like to be sort of raised up i'd like to have like stair we'll keep it with the stone brick like this and then i would like to have we'll go with chiseled so it stands out a little bit Ooh, not monster egg one like that Let's just bring the, all of this up in here. I never know what's at the back here. There's always like this back section to the search. I'm going to put book bookshelves in here. But I don't know what would actually be back here. I, I, I just don't know. <laughs> as silly as it sounds. I think that makes a lot of sense though, to have those back there. And then I will probably... Just put a ceiling like that on there like that I think it looks cool I think it looks fine from the inside here I've already done it we need some lights and some torches and stuff um, I've always liked the old uh, enchanting table it's an old it's an old classic for when building churches in Minecraft like that I'm a little bit far back, aren't I? There we go. Now I can sort of see everybody. These posts are a little bit in the way. Can I sort of bring it... Do you reckon I can bring it out to there and then I can see everybody? That would be better. Um. And then these... Nah, man. That doesn't look right. Slab. That's fine. That works. There we go. Now we can see everybody. We can talk to everybody up here. Torch. 
because we are looking really dark in here now. Never want to put too many down though. I'll just put two on that side. Two on that side. And I'm not, we're not worrying about in there at the moment. Oh yeah, we're looking more and more like a church now. Let's get. Uh, this could be a long episode, isn't it? I can already tell. This it's already feeling long to me. Let's get these in here. Trap doors. On them. Leaves. I like, I like, just adds a little bit of greenery in there. And in fact, let's drop those down to just one high. And let me get some paintings in here. Two wide one. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, I'd like to have something to cover that up with. Trap door. No, I think I'll leave it like that. I just, it looked a little bit weird. Well, if we sink these back again instead, uh, I got rid of the stair. <laughs> I should have clicked it first. I think that's better. It just sinks them back a little bit, then, doesn't it? While keeping it all, all the sort of feature. I like this part not having a wall as well, and the walls back there instead. I like that. No, I don't like that though. Uh, bunk, yoink, yoink, yoink. Yoink. I don't think I need anything else in there. And then to finish off. Thinking. Something like this. Oops. <gasps> you guys are going to be so annoyed that that. I'll tell you what. I'll fix it. Look. There you go. Okay. We've got a random stair underneath the ground there now. Uh, no, it's going to have to go the other way. I'm going to have to flip these around. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think it just adds a little bit more to the floor here. You know what I mean? Just adds that little bit. And we'll also... Uh, might as well pull this all the way through here, in fact. We'll also change this floor up to have some mossy and, and cracked bricks as well, so it doesn't all look perfect like this. So we'll go uh, that one to that one. Replace 98 with 98 one, 98 two, and 98. And we'll do the same in here. Grab that one. And we'll do the same up here as well. Just for those ones. Don't need to worry about selecting every single one. But that way, it's just a little bit cracked. It's not sort of all perfect. It's been up like a long time, hasn't it? Do you know what I mean? I think that looks cool. I think that works out well for us. Uh, I think that's good for the interior to the main part of the church. I don't think I need to put anything more on. I don't think I need any paintings on the side there. or, or any, I can put paintings on the back here. Like just a single one? Yeah. Yeah like that i think the main part of the church in the back is all good all we've got to do now is this part have some sort of ladder or something maybe i don't even bother maybe we don't even bother with it maybe we just ignore the next levels i can't i can't think of a good way to get up there a ladder would suck wouldn't it just placing a ladder down in here to get up to the next levels just doesn't make sense it's not big enough for a staircase I think it's just a lot smarter to do something like this. Anyway, before this episode ends up being an, literally an hour long, I think that's where we are going to leave it. Torches. Torches. Um, bookshelves. Like that. And then have that and this all right guys church is done church interior is done bakery interior is done 
I'm happy with it. I think this looks really cool. This is like where you always write the books and stuff. There's always a little reception area sort of thing in a church. All the ones that I've been in have had like a little room like that with tables. And they usually have like a seat in there as well. But it doesn't matter. Um, I'm happy with that. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you're already in, then feel free to subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode.